only about half of all arm amputees who are fitted for prosthetics ever bother to use them. While there have been significant advancements in the devices over the past several decades, many of the drawbacks for the wearer persist. They're heavy, hard to use, prone to break, and expensive. That's why researchers at Oak Ridge National Laboratory began looking at the potential of miniature hydraulics to address some of the limitations of commercial prosthetics. That research, combined with the lab's expertise in robotics and high-performance materials, and the introduction of a process called additive manufacturing, developed this, a fluid-powered robotic hand. The revolutionary device is lightweight, with human hand-like dexterity and strength, few parts to break, and affordable. One of the problems in prosthetics today is you can have functionality, but they always look, they don't have the aesthetics tied with it. It looks, looks crude. You usually end up with like an elbow and a wrist and a claw. You can also have things that are very lifelike, look lifelike, but they don't have any functionality. This technology gives us both. I can make things that look very lifelike, but also have the functionality that, that the patients need to restore their capability. The challenge was to make a complex structure low in both cost and weight. The research team turned to additive manufacturing for a solution. Also known as 3D printing, additive manufacturing builds a part by depositing layer after layer of a raw material, such as a metal powder or a plastic polymer. It enables the construction of intricately designed parts while reducing weight. The miniature hydraulics also can be blended directly into the structure allowing the robotic hand to function at a level of strength and dexterity that's close to the human hand. For example, you can see the complexity here, and we can make very light, sh lightweight shell-type structures so that for somebody that's lost a limb, you could literally scan their good arm, make a mirror image of it electronically in your CAD package, design the hydraulics into the structure, and print it out. Made up of only 46 parts, the robotic hand can be manufactured in about 24 hours and assembled in 16. As proponents of the technology like to say, design anywhere, build anywhere. So it's really, the opportunities are, are, are just exploding for making very lightweight, low-cost components. The aerospace industry is, is extremely interested in this, as is the automotive industry. So we're, we're really trying to take this from a prototyping environment to a full-scale manufacturing environment. That's what's really exciting about this technology, lighter, faster, and cheaper at the same time. A truly significant advancement that could enable hundreds of thousands of people to regain a way of life they once knew, or perhaps have yet to experience.